mostly immune. Don't stop mosque prayers. Scholar warns Buhari. Aligan in, is a professor of Islamic studies at the University of Iloring. He spoke on Wednesday while reacting to the suspension of congregational prayers at Saudi Arabia. Saudi had on Tuesday stopped the performance of the customary five daily prayers and the weekly Jumait. Prayer at other worship centers, including the two holy mosques in Akka and Medina. But Aligan told PR Nigerian that Nigerian Muslims, their male and male and female, should be allowed to observe their compulsory prayers in mosques. He claimed that Muslims have already been endowed with a natural immune system to fight coronavirus. Ali Gans stated that health officials advise people to wash their hands, which Muslims do five times daily before observing their obligatory prayers. Again, our sisters are always adorned in ajib and hijab. Some even use niqab and gloves. So, we the Muslims already have a potent immune system against coronavirus. That is to say that we don't have any problem. Even in France, I learned that those that are completely free from contacting coronavirus are Muslim ladies and women who cover their face. Use hand gloves and don't shake hands with people, he said. The cleric, who is also an imam of a Junite mosque, noted that the action of the Saudi government is in line with Muslim or is in line with Islamic teachings on preventing the spread of an epidemic in any area. He said that the only prophet specifically mentioned that if there is a epi epidemic at the central location, people should not go close to that danger area or place. Why those that are living there should not come out until the epi epidemic is wiped out. The prophet, by implication, is saying that we should avoid the spread of epidemics with necessary precautionary. Allegan urged that the Saudi authorities' directive is only aimed to for starting the field fire spread on the diseases. I don't think that Muslims Iman and its authorities in Nigeria should tour the line of Saudi by banning congregational prayers in mosque. The situation in our country is quite different from what we have in the Arab world or even at some Western countries. The killer scourged easily ravages their immune system and body. However, I am still saying that we should go along with what the prophet counseled, which is that we should not take epidemics or any killer diseases for granted. We should take all necessary precautions. Any advice from health officials should strongly be adhered to the abided by Dr. Aligan added. Wow, it is, that is it. This is just the facts. But with what he has, he has said, fine. He said their immune system is endowed to fight coronavirus. But they still need to be very careful. They still need to be very careful. Are they, are, are they the only person on earth that wants to, or that prevents those virus? from coming to them who prays that such virus should invade his or her community nobody does praise that praise for that fine he said that the customary they, they pay they pray five times daily and the weekly and weekly 
on Friday. We know that you people pray. So you wash your hands before praying. Fine, but that does not mean that this virus should not come to you or should not be spread out to where you are. Prevention is better than cure. That is it. Your immune system is strong. Doesn't mean that you cannot be contacted. Your sisters are always adorned in a jab. You see some even use niqab and gloves. Fine, you do that. But that doesn't mean that this virus will not be spread or will not come to your domain. Your immune system is against coronavirus. Says who? If you want to keep, con if God wants, if you want to be, con if, you, if, 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 if God wants you to be contacted, you will be. It's not by covering or by protecting, by wearing a jab. Fine, the female wear hijabs. What about the men? Do they wear hijabs? Do they wear gloves? Do they wear niqab? No, they don't. He said even in France, they learned that those that are completely free from contacting coronavirus are Muslim ladies and women who cover their face. They use gloves and don't shake hands with people. Shaking hands, using gloves, covering your face doesn't mean or doesn't stop you from getting this virus. It doesn't stop you from if, if being if affected, infected by this virus. Uh, this, it touches we're banned from conducting a service every Friday. That is what the Redeemed Christian Church of God pastor has stopped. Our federal government has stopped. So, I think this Muslim, Muslim should also abide by this to prevent them from being affected or infected by this virus. If they think that covering their faces or wearing hijabs, or wearing gloves and niqab will prevent them from being contacted. They can go ahead and follow that. They can go ahead and disrespect the law of prayers. Not that they will not pray, they will pray, but you need to be careful. But if they think that that will protect them, the covering of their faces and all of that, then they should go against the law and Whatsoever that happens to them, they will be held responsible for it. People should not go close to that danger area or place that has been contacted or that has been infected, infected by this virus. He also said that the only prophets specifically mentioned that if there is an epidemic, at a central location, people should not go close to that place or area. Why those that are living there should not come out until the epi, epi the, until the epidemic is wiped out? He said. He also, he also said that by implication, he's saying that we should avoid the spread of epidemic with necessary precautionary steps. So Muslim, I think, should abide by that. I don't think Muslim imams and its authorities in Nigeria should draw the line of Saudi by banning congregational prayers in mosques. That is what is said. But this banning of congregational prayers in the mosque is for their own good. It's for their own uh, life to be protected. That is it. But if they believe that their life, their lives is being protected by hijabs or by gloves or even niqab. It should let virus flow in their lives or come to their dwelling and never a, a guild to or be, obey the, the, the rules, rules of prayers. That is it. They should obey the words of the government they should obey the words of the government if they don't want this virus to come to them to their domain but if they want the virus to 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 to, to, to be but if they want to be infected by this virus 
they should relax and put and hope on this covering of faces, angles, and wearing of hijabs. So, viewers, what is your take on this? Drop your comment below. Click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell button to receive notifications whenever I publish any new video. And don't forget, share this news and like this news. Thank you as you do. Have a wonderful day. Bye.